In this episode of Ride OC's Work Stand Wednesday, we'll use the Park Tools Derailleur Hanger Alignment Gauge to straighten a hanger that was bent after a crash. This tool is designed to help you accurately measure and correct any misalignment so that your bike shifts smoothly and operates at its best. We'll start by removing the rear derailleur. This one is an Eagle 12 speed and it has the lock to keep it open so we don't have to fight the spring tension. Attach the gauge to your hanger by threading it into the derailleur hanger. Make sure it's tightened. Now swing the gauge up and slide the measurement pin until it touches the rim. What we're going to do is measure the amount the hanger is bent and then gently bend it back. Swing the gauge down to the bottom of the rim without moving the pin and compare the gap between the pin and the rim. You can see we're about a half inch off the rim at the bottom and that means the hanger is bent quite a bit. I'll slide the gauge up a bit and bend the hanger inwards. It's important to go slow on this step and apply controlled pressure. All derailleur hangers bend differently. Some are softer and bend easily. Others are quite firm. Just go slowly when you're bending and check to see how much you've bent it after each attempt. What we're looking for here is an equal amount of space between the rim and the pin at the top and bottom of the rim. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it should be close. Now, we're about an eighth of an inch at both the top and the bottom. That's pretty good. So next I'll repeat these steps on the front and back of the rim. Swing the gauge to the front of the bike and slide the pin to touch the rim. Then swing it around to the back and compare. We're about a half inch off here too. I'll slide the gauge forward slightly so I can bend the hanger without the pin hitting the spokes and give it a gentle push. Remember, go slowly and check your progress after each adjustment. Once you've got an equal amount of gap between the pin and the rim on the front and rear, rotate the gauge around the rim and see if the gap is about the same all the way around. Keep that pin in place and check at various points. The gap should be consistent all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be close. This one is about an eighth of an inch wherever I measure it and I'm happy with that. Remove the tool from the hanger and reattach the rear derailleur. And just like that, you've got crisp shifting and a properly aligned rear D. Having a spare hanger on hand is always a good idea, especially if you ride in more demanding terrain. It'll ensure you're prepared for any crashes and can get back on your bike as soon as possible without having to wait for a replacement part. That's it for this week's Work Stand Wednesday. We hope you found these tips handy and feel more confident tackling crucial maintenance tasks.